Welcome everyone to the Wix Fundamentals for the Wix user. Um, this video is actually going to cover a question we had from one of our um, users on our Facebook page. Uh, the user asked, one, how to create a collection, two, how to add an item to that collection. And um, one, of her qu one of her questions was, you know, do I create a collection first or do we create a product first? And really it does not matter. Um, Sometimes it's easier to create the collection after you have all your products in because that gives you a better idea of what you want to name that collection. So that sh collection should be something that a, a user of your site can look at and get a general idea of what is in that collection. Um, so basically what I did was this is just a blank site, um, but I created a store and what I did for that is um, going into the add, clicking store, Wix will generate this page for you. Um, one nice thing, especially for this demo, is that Wix gives you some general blank items to work with. And all I did in here was, um, just for simplicity's sake, was I went in and, and changed the name for this to Black Shoes, and the same thing for um, down here was a gray sweatshirt. Okay, so um, first thing you want to do is create, like I say, you can either create your products or create your collection. No big deal either way. Um, now that I'm in the store, I want to go to my dashboard, store products, and under here I have collections. So collections are basically if you want to group any specific item together. So we're going to create two collections just uh, for simplicity's sake. So we're going to click collection for shoes. And here I can actually click the add products and add my shoes directly. Click add. And if I want to, I can actually create a, a, an image as well for that collection. It's up to you. Don't have to do that. Um, I'm going to click save. editor so now I can create a new page for this collection or add this collection collection to an existing page again doesn't matter which way you want to do it um, for this specific video though we're going to create a new page for this collection because we want um, our users to be able to click on that collection and go to that specific topic so if I click create page now I have a page for just shoes. So if I go up into my page manager, I can underneath shops, I'll have shoes. Now it's up to you. Um, if across your menu you want to have shoes next to shop, or if you want to have a drop down menu for shoes, we can do it that way. So now when someone hovers over the word shop, they now have shoes that drops down underneath. So we'll do the same thing one more time for our sweatshirt. So again, if I go into store products, collections, I can create one for clothing. Add products, sweatshirt, click add. Again, if I hit save, it's going to again ask me if I want to add a page, which I'm going to. Create a page. Now I'm going to go back over to my page because I want them to be drop downs. I'm just going to click on this, drag, and bring it under. Now we have a drop down menu. Um, you want now, something on your home page that has those different collections. So now that I have the collections created, I can go into my store, my dashboard store products into those collections. So now I want to add collections okay, of the, the clothing. So if I go to my dashboard, store products, go into my collections. So we've created a collection already for our page, or, I'm sorry, for that collection. Maybe we want to put it on that home page. So we're going to add 
to the home page, add that collection, and now it's going to show up actually on our home page as well. So then we can play around, mess around, everything we want to do. It's up to you when it comes to adding multiple collections to your home page. You may want to, instead of having multiple collections shown, you may want to take one or two collections, three collections, however you want to do it, and combine them. So basically create a new collection that basically just states it for the home page. And then add everything in those three collections into one collection. That makes it easier. Um, instead of having three separate collections, again, with Wix, it's really up to you, however you want to do it. But that's the way to add a product collection to your home page or to whatever page you want it on. Um, and then again, you can create your own specific page for that collection as well. If you like the video, make sure to like, um, and make sure to subscribe if you have not already um, to our, our, uh, our page. Um, and as always, make sure to check out our Facebook page. Um, like our Facebook page, follow us, make sure to ask questions. Again, I'm going to use those questions um, for these videos. So thanks a lot for uh, watching. Have a good night.